The new year is expected to bring important advances in medical innovations. Dr. David Agus is with us from Los Angeles. Good morning, David. Good morning, Anthony. This is really fascinating stuff that, that you're going to be talking about this morning. The first one is, is the idea of making replacement body parts, right? And, and, and I was reading that they're actually talking about growing a heart. Oh, it's pretty wild. Is that we can now engineer tissue. So already we've put an engineer bladder into a young girl. Trachea has gone into patients. What you see here is basically an ink cartridge, and they take cells from the fat pad, they convert them into cardiac cells, and it goes into this printer, so they're heart cells. And in that green there, it's spraying out the heart cells in the shape of a two-chamber heart, and that's what you see here. But you say big whoop, and then all of a sudden, you look under the microscope at this heart, and it beats. And so wow. that's the power of it, is you put sh cells in the right structure and they actually function. So this year you're gonna see an explosion of these technologies to help us all live longer and better. Speaking of technology, doctor, you're a big proponent of a lot of these apps and other devices that we can use to stay healthy. And you say that's gonna to continue to grow. Oh yeah, I mean, right now you can stand on your scale, communicates to your smartphone. You could check your blood pressure every day and all of that data can go to your doctor. Well, I can now take my smartphone here and I can actually put my fingers on it and I can get an EKG reading. And this EKG reading I can take anywhere and send it to my doctor. So the notion of having to go to your doctor's office to generate data and then talking about it is out. You're gonna generate the data at home and then discuss it with your doctor when you get there. And so it's going to bring a much more powerful interaction between the doctor and the patient. That's valuable for both sides, too. Cuts down on waiting time and all that stuff. You also said that one of the biggest changes that's going to happen is going to be right inside our own bodies. Yeah, no offense, Anthony and Nora, <laughs> but you have tenfold more bacteria in your body than you do cells in the body. And these bacteria control your metabolism, your hormone level. They control many things about you. In fact, if you take a fat human and take bacteria from them and put it into a skinny mouse, the mouse will become fat. And the converse is also true. So going forward, we're going to use these to modulate our risk for disease. Mm -hmm. If you say, I'm high risk for heart disease, I may tell a patient to take a particular yogurt to lower that risk. It's going to be very exciting. And finally, you're talking about a lot of new drugs in 2014. Which yeah, one? Well, this is, this is the era of molecular technology where we can actually target a receptor, target an on switch in a disease. And so diseases like insomnia, you know, right now sleeping pills, they turn off and they stimulate the, uh, the sleep center in the brain. And you have a sleep center and a wake center. Well, most of us are already tired, but we can't fall asleep. The new generation of pills will actually target the wake center and have a dramatically different effect so that the, hopefully there'll be less side effects and all of us can fall asleep. Obviously, it's better not to use a pill at all, but they're gonna be breakthrough drugs for hepatitis C, for diabetes, and more of these targeted molecular therapies in cancer. Very exciting year for what's gonna come. David, one quick question on these bioengineered body parts. I mean, talking about drugs, I mean, most people who have transplants have to take drugs for the rest of their life so they don't reject them. If you have a bioengineered body part, do you have to do the same thing? No, because these are going to be your own cells. And so we don't have to modulate the immune system if you're your own cells. And the power is, is that we've got thousands and thousands of people on waiting lists for organs, for kidneys, for hearts, and others. And this will transform lives overnight once it becomes a reality. Incredible. Dr. David Agus, good to see you.